The cotton is gradually being praised on a due 2024 governorship election and political bigwigs are joining the race. One of the politicians that has thrown his heart in the ring is a former commissioner for information in the state, Kasim Afegwa. He declared his intention to run in the governorship election under the platform of the All Progressive Congress, APC, and opposed zoning. According to him, the governorship seats in the state has never been subjected to a zoning arrangement. Let's hear from Kasim Afegwa. Even if you are an opposition governor, like Obaseki is, and you keep erecting signboard to say this is federal government rule, am I, am I federal government? I'm a state government. I apply the rules. You and I are both in the state to apply the rules. What stops you? The one that is only built, government paid a two billion. They founded the money. What did you do with that money? So it is dirty politics for you to say federal government will put some vote and say meanwhile the one right that is state government rule is still in the same state of uh, shambles. So those kind of negative politics are not a part of it. If it takes me to go and kneel down before the president to plead that there should be a special grant for a do to fix the federal roads, I will do that as a government. Kazim Afegwa, they're talking about the deployable state of uh, roads in Edo uh, states. Yes, uh, yes that's, it's a big that's problem. Big, mm, big, big, big problem. Problem of erosion. Mm. It's been there. It yeah. has not been defeated. Um, and then the roads, the All federal roads, major roads. In the, and out. The governor was uh, caught. Yes, in one of the. In the midst of a huge uh, mm. um, uh, flood. Mm. On a major highway, and people, were and people filmed him mm. inside his uh, SUV, yeah. trapped in the in the uh, flood. It's a big problem that you expect that after all these years, the government will have found a way to solve the problem, either working with the federal government or even uh, mm -hmm. doing it alone. But with every passing year. Problem remains and it goes on and on. Uh, coming back to Afegua, there is no doubt about it that he understands the state very well. Um, he, he knows where the shoe pinches and uh, he, he's never been far away from uh, the power loop. And one man who will play a big part and uh, who becomes the candidate of the APC. Is Adam Sushumale. Adam Sushumale uh, retains Afegua more or less like his son. They are very close. I know that is not enough to determine the standard bearer of a political party, but mm. it works. It, it, it's a factor. Uh, we've not seen a good number of those who will contest, but uh, my friend from Okwila has quickly thrown his hat in the ring. Mm. He mm. wants the world to know that mm. he's interested. Mm. He can get the job done. Mm. And, um, he is prepared uh, for the job. Mm. So we, we wait and see um, where this takes him. But my advice for him is to um, accelerate He's uh, moving around, and telling the people what he has for mm. them. That is uh, mm. what matters. Perhaps if his message uh, uh, resonates with the people, then mm. he can eventually be the candidate of the party, um, mm. and probably become the next governor. Mm. But he has to work hard. There is so much. There is so much <laughs> that he needs to do at this stage mm. if he's to become the standard bearer of the APC in the state. I do 2024 seems to be interesting. The outlook, this is the first candidate I'm going to be seeing officially from the APC. All Progressive mm -hmm. Congress. And we've had um, Philip Schreiber declaring 
for the People's Democratic Party. We've had the likes of Olumide Apata, the mm -hmm. former NBA president, declaring for the Labour Party. Mm -hmm. We've had the likes of uh, Ken Reisman, Ken Masobo, also declaring within the same Labour Party. But talking about Kasim Afegwa now, APC will definitely be a party to beat in that election. Looking at the antecedent of the, um, the party in the States, uh, well, it's, to me, it's too early, but uh, we just have to talk about it. There are still big names that will come. I mean, bigger names that will come out. And uh, what will play out in Edo is going to be... <laughs> remember the last governorship election in Edo? Mm. It was like a national, <laughs> no. national election. Yeah, yeah. Just a state, but I don't know mm. why Edo is... It attracted that I don't know why Edo kind is of attention. so important and so strategic mm. to virtually all the political big weeks. Remember him as you had to do a video. So mm. <laughs> remember that time. No, yes, he did the video mm. because he wanted to help his friend. Mm. Yeah, that is what I said. Yeah. So, I don't think I, uh, Edo is really strategic that much. It was just... I, uh, he just found it expedient at that time. Mm. No, I'm talking about generally, not just to one person. That when the time comes, you will see the way everybody. Maybe we just did opposition election now, mm. but let the do come. You will see the way it will attract the attention of the whole country as if something. It just is state. Mm. <laughs> some states are. Some states are. Like I don't that. know what is Edo, in Edo. I don't know what is in Edo <laughs> that always always makes. It's very, very interesting when it comes oh, to the If election. you remember the last election, is the governors who put so much accent on Edo like that. They wanted to use Edo to teach Oshomala a lesson. Mm -hmm. And they worked against Oshomala in that election. They, if mm -hmm. we give a Bible to them mm -hmm. who are Christians, they can't swear with it. That's the governors? Oh, yes, those governors. Because they worked against their APC party. APC governors. They worked against their party because they didn't like the way Oshomala treated Obasiki. So they wanted to use that election to teach him. They ganged up. Even the man that was appointed as, a, uh, as the chairman of the campaign, mm. the fellow governor, he asked his colleague, he said, if, if you knew this was what you were coming here to do, you should have told me. Mm. Mm. I, like, I spent two weeks here. I will waste my time. Mm. <laughs> you are waste two weeks. I spent two weeks here. <laughs> Just walking. You should have told me that you people have no ambition. Mm. You know? He told them. You want to that sabotage what, your own party? Yes, you should have told me that you came to sabotage your party. Well, that was what mm. they did. And they misled the former president. Mm. <laughs> you know? Just to teach a... Just to teach your show a lesson. lesson. Mm. Well, that, uh, you cannot move against a governor like that, uh, you, um, you know, and, and not pay the price, you know. So, it's... Um, look. And with Obaseki not on the ballot this time, so mm. I don't think... It could be a replay of what happened in the last time. No, no, I, I don't know. So, no, I no. don't think so. Be with this uh, uh, input from uh, GD now, I don't think it would, would be as interesting as it was no, in the no, last. Not like that last time. Of course, the stakes the, were too high. The stakes, are, the stakes are still high, but uh, I don't think it will because. It's a race between and the Obama APC. Key did not really do well as governor. Oh, Ask so any do light. It's, um, it's a race between the PDP and the APC. APC. The, the Labour Party thing is already... Labour, they have a lot of sympathy with the young people. Again, no structure. When we the tell moment them, Peter will be... Is, you know, don't structures at that level they are very important. When we tell them, they say there is no need for structure. The construction of uh, corruption. Uh, we say, we know. Okay. No need for structure. Okay. But what you when mentioned corruption... Comes, hmm. You mentioned corruption. He says, <laughs> That's what they said there is a structure of corruption. corruption. <laughs> so, how many governors do they have now? They don't, they are no need for structure, no need for structure. Where are the governors? Where would the money come from? Hmm. Yes, now. Hmm. Because no. sympathy can take you only to an extent. Hmm. Labor Party excelled in those states where they won because of the Peter will be effect. The Peter will be effect and the matter of Christianity. Hmm. Christians electing to vote against the APC yeah, because they didn't pick a Christian as also, the uh, vice presidential hmm. candidate. It, that's where it ended. And, and that's why you see that in the governorship election where the, the, the election is actually local. Hmm. 
everybody went people, the texture yeah, people changed people yeah, went back to the completely mm. and that's why they were reduced to a, a party that won 12 states if we view abuja as a state mm. just managing to win one governorship mm. you know that's to tell you the difference in complexion uh, in terms of both elections mm. because the factors were different the people the plateau people who voted highly for labor in the presidential election lightly because of religion mm -hmm. by the time it got to the governorship election the candidate the governorship candidate of pdp is also a christian they forgot about labor they forgot about voted, labor totally i voted uh, yeah. uh, uh, for pdp mm. you know and the same kind of uh, um, big support that they got in the governorship, in the uh, presidential election in Benue, when he got to the governorship election, hmm. what did we see? Father Alia, Father Alia, one of the APC. Hmm. You know, so it's. Um, so I know. I know. Emotions don't win election. <laughs> we get to read that book. I saw it at the airport. But we always said. told them. Yeah. <laughs> we, we have always <laughs> said it here that <laughs> forget about your emotions. You will abuse the man saying the truth for telling you the truth. But in the fullness of time, you will realize your own folly. Everything that you said is just important. At the end of the day, the truth is the truth. And the truth by nature is self evident. You <laughs> cover it at one end, like the mole, it comes out at the other end. You know that insect now uh, called the mole that likes to borrow into the sand. Mm -hmm. At a point you will not see it, then it will come out at the other end. Mm -hmm. So that's the nature of the truth. You, you cannot defeat the truth. Mm -hmm. The truth always triumphs. Mm -hmm. The person saying the truth may become hated. They may call him names. They may call him slave. Slave of Tinubu, slave of this, slave of that. But in the fullness of time, you will see the truth in what he's been saying. This is the nature of our politics. Our politics thrives on those structures. Mm. Those structures organize people on election day to get out, get people to come and vote, mm. get people to defend their votes, get people to vote for the candidate that they have repeatedly sold to them. Grassroots. If you don't have people to do that on election day, mm. you are not going to win. Mm. That's a fact. Hmm. Our politics, we are not America. We are not, our politics is, is the, the nature of our politics peculiar to us. In the last three of season elections hmm. that we did now, hmm. where was the Labour Party? Hmm. No, it's fizzling now. They don't exist in Kogi State. They don't exist. It's fizzling now. Their performance in Nemo State was abysmal from the. You may say whatever you want to say. Where is it? They are not there. And where was no, it? Also be, where was it be to even go and campaign for that? Obi has achieved this aim. The structure, if, national if, you, if you don't have the structure, you have nothing. Hmm. All right. Politics.